I just really want to express welcome to you and, and, and talk for a few minutes. We're then going to give you an opportunity to have a, a bit of a look around our police college. And you know, we recruit pretty vigorously every year, and I usually graduate about 300 new police officers. And what we're looking for from them is, is you know, pretty much what Brian's looking for from his pro prospects too. I want leaders in my organization. I want, I want people who can make decisions. I want people with good values, people who are committed to public service and, and committed to a, a strong work ethic and willing to go out and put themselves on the line and put themselves occasionally at risk to, to do their duty, to do what they are sworn to do, to serve and protect the people of, of our city. And so because we have that in common, Brian and I talked about having him come up and speak to, to, to my recruits and, and he asked if I would also take the opportunity just briefly to, to, to speak to all of you and to invite you up here because I think there is something in common with, with people who choose to do the extraordinary, people who have made an effort to do something uh, really important. And then I have to tell you one of the things that I have to tell everybody that comes to work for me, we all wear this uniform. You guys aspire to wear a uniform. That uniform re represents something. My uniform represents something to me. It's, it's a symbol of the authority given, given to the police, but it's more than that. It's a symbol of decades of service, decades of a relationship with the people which is based on trust and respect. And when anyone decides to wear this uniform, the uniform of a police officer in our city, they're accepting responsibility for our reputation. They're accepting responsibility for that legacy of sacrifice and of service. And it's no different than for each of you. If you decide to put on, and you work hard to put on, the uniform of the Toronto Maple Leafs, then you, ex you accept responsibility in doing that for the Toronto Maple Leafs' legacy, for their reputation. And as I tell every single one of my officers, when you go out there and do whatever it is you're going to do every day, not just at work, but in your private life, you have to recognize that the reputation of this entire organization rests on your shoulders.